Hello, this is Cleantech Business Club once again together with Euro Electric at their awards winning Power Summit. And now we are together with Hando Sator, who is a CEO of Enfit and also ST Energy, which is an amazing uh, utility energy company from Estonia. So, uh, first uh, question just, you know, how do you like the event? The event is fantastic. I mean, uh, after a few years to be uh, back and see people, to talk to real people is uh, fantastic. And of course, uh, we have a challenges in the world, as we know. So all the challenges are up all together and uh, good uh, brains together to uh, discuss the solutions. It's a great event. Because uh, I never spoke with you for our Cleantech Business Club and uh, our goal is really to bring to the Cleantech leaders an overview where we are with the utility when it comes to the transformation of businesses into Cleantech. So I would like to just you know, first ask you about what is your activity in the clean technologies? In our region, in our part of the world, we are the uh, leading uh, renewable generators. We are doing quite a bit already, but we are planning to invest some two and a half billion uh, euros in the coming five years more, mostly to onshore wind and uh, solar. More than this, uh, maybe this is something what any energy company is doing nowadays. We are on the way uh, leading uh, energy company to uh, engage the customers, mm -hmm. because we think that engaging customers to this uh, transition is the key. And how to engage? Uh, because mostly the energy for the customers is not the core. They are just suffering due to the high energy prices. Uh, uh, they want to have a sustainable supply of energy. They want to have reasonable prices. Uh, they want to have it any time. Uh, so basically we have to engage them in a smart way. Seamless and uh, convenient. I think on a digitalization we are way ahead of uh, many of uh, our peers. So uh, this is what we do. Normally in the past, let's say that uh, customer was just, you know, like uh, you were supplying the things, yes? But now customer is becoming participant, yes? Absolutely. And even if we do our uh, new investments, so uh, customers having uh, uncertainty uh, what to expect in uh, years to come, they want to fix their costs, they want to have a, a sustainable source of energy and uh, we uh, sign a long-term contracts up to 12 years. Oh. We get the certainty on our cash flow and we make investments. We are investing hundreds of millions uh, of euros. And the customers uh, get the certainty on the power supply, the uh, source they know from where it comes and, uh, and also the cost. But you handle your measuring that uh, transition. Yes, but uh, actually uh, in our club we don't agree with the word transition because we believe it's transformation. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, you might be right, you have been thinking more about this, we are more hands-on uh, doing, uh, doing this uh, exercise, but it is a uh, uh, huge, it's a revo revolutionary change, mm -hmm. that's, that's for sure, however you, you call it. And, and actually, uh, it's linked to technology. Mm -hmm. It's not just doing something in a different way, but uh, using the technologies, what we don't know even, uh, partly today. So. Uh, we need to engage the many new uh, technologies, a lot of R&D, uh, really the global uh, collaboration, uh, uh, you can call it uh, really like uh, uh, something, uh, something much bigger. Yes. Yeah. So it's not only just energy, it's like a new paradigm, and then you are bringing the new uh, solution, yes? That's right. And I would like to ask you, because you mentioned that you would like to invest uh, 2.5 billion, yes, in the um, renewable generation. So I assume it's not only Estonia, of course. No, we are working uh, markets uh, all the way from Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania to Poland. This is the, uh, we can say, the eastern bank of the Baltic Sea, northeast part of the Europe. In uh, some of those countries like Estonia and Poland, our background is very much fossil. Mm -hmm. But if we take even all Europe, uh, still 70% of the energy comes uh, from the fossil sources. And we have agreed that by 2050 we should be a carbon neutral, means that we have uh, 28 years not full 28 but a little bit less one generation basically and uh, we have huge step to take and you don't have like uh, any uh, i would say issue yes in persuading people because uh, you are rather from the northern countries yes so it's not like you know uh, the solar resources are not like on the south so how do you justify to you know to your counterparts uh, technologies are developing uh, uh, efficiency of solar is getting better prices are coming down and in uh, many cases in the northern country solar is uh, competitive because today if we have a temperatures like uh, plus uh, 40 uh, Celsius in uh, Spain uh, efficiency yeah, of solar is coming down, down. Exactly. so in uh, we have sunny days in uh, Nordic countries uh, today uh, it might be that so it's uh, not uh, not, not raining yeah? 
No, it's it's okay. It's oh, it's much cool. colder than here, but uh, but uh, but solar but is working fine. Yeah. So, uh, Hando, so you are in the utility space uh, like for 15 years already. Yes. So you saw the past. You see today how clean tech, how renewables were neglected in the past, how important they are. And I would like to ask you, with all the geopolitical situation, yes. Uh, how do you see from your perspective what are the game changers to make this transformation as quick as possible because we need it? You see the burning platform is burning even more. Mm -hmm. Before we had an environmental push, now we are having a geopolitical push because uh, we just don't have uh, enough uh, gas and oil. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we have seen how uh, those sources can be used uh, against uh, some uh, of the countries on the political uh, goals. And uh, we can avoid this if we're using our local resource, which is solar and uh, sun. And I think uh, the world is calling, yes, <laughs> for the transformation. So, uh, last question, like uh, in our cleantech business club, it's very important together we are stronger. And uh, in the utility space, uh, you are competitors, yes? But are you able, you know, beyond the competition to work together for the common goal? Of course, and uh, this is what we're doing here. Uh, so I have been uh, last eight years in Euro Electric Port. Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest uh, European energy companies are represented here one or other way. We come together. Uh, sometimes we even meet on a leaders summit uh, globally, where we're energy leaders across the globe are coming together. And actually our uh, challenges are very similar. Mm -hmm. And if we are changing the best practices, how we overcome the challenges to see uh, the policies uh, in the different parts of the globe uh, and take uh, all the best practices with us, mm -hmm. then we can make it faster. Uh, so uh, such kind of collaboration and uh, exchange of ideas about uh, our common challenges is absolutely needed. So we are discussing now with uh, your electric, uh, with Bruce, with uh, the team about uh, having closer relationship with the clean tech industry leaders, yes? Because uh, what we also believe in our club that uh, from the beginning we never should fight against each other, but it's better to come together, to exchange ideas and to work together, yes, to make the transformation. So do you think it's a great idea? I, I think so, because uh, we, we can't uh, compete uh, as, as long as the uh, demand is uh, times more than we can offer all together at the moment. So that uh, I think up to the moment when we are really having a global competition, it takes time. Mm -hmm. Today, uh, we uh, need to increase our investments to fasten the speed uh, uh, because uh, so far demand is uh, growing faster than the uh, investments to the renewables. So if we will not uh, fasten up, then actually uh, we have to cover it with the fossil still. And uh, so uh, there is not much to compete, but, uh, but work together to, uh, to overcome the challenge. Okay, so just last question. Uh, uh, how do you imagine Enfit at the end of the clean tech and electric decade? We have uh, promised that we will be carbon neutral uh, by that, uh, 2045. We are on the journey to zero. This is what we have said, and this is not only our journey, mm -hmm. but we engage our uh, around one million uh, customers with us. Mm -hmm. We want to be a good partner for them, uh, because anyway, they challenge mostly is linked to energy, one or other way. So we are the experts, and uh, we want to lead also our customer base journey to zero. I would like to wish you that this 2045 becomes 2000. 35. We will do our best, uh, but uh, this is a huge change, so it takes time, but we are committed. And together we are solid. Thanks. Thank you so much.